Okay, Pisces, welcome to today's reading. Happy birthday. If it is your birthday today, if you're a Pisces son, uh, when I'm recording this, uh, happy birthday if it's your birthday when you find this. This is a pretty new channel. I've only been going for about a month. And I just want to say thank you so, so, so much for all of you who are supporting me with amazing comments. Um, if you're a returning visitor and if you're new here, welcome. I'm so, so happy to welcome you. So these are timeless readings. Uh, this is very much about um, a uprising of energy or a shift in energy that is really prevalent in the Pisces collective. Um, however, you don't have to be a Pisces. If you just resonate with this energy, then um, you have that same desire to help the world move forward a bit, I think, in its thinking. It's probably the best way to describe it is the energy I'm picking up. So I'm Heather. I am an intuitive energy reader. Uh, I read energies and uh, obviously send the messages that are important to you. And today we're going to be doing something really, really uh, lovely. It's the first launch of what's called the Angel Dog Spread. So these are my Angel Dogs tarot cards. And today we're going to be doing a very special spread, which is about reading energy. So in the middle here, we're going to be picking up what energy am I feeling as a primary energy that is going on today or whenever you're finding this. And then we're going to look at the foundations for that energy. We're going to look at the emotional aspects and then we're going to look at the spiritual aspects. OK, so we're going to start with the primary energy of the Three of Cups, which is lovely. It's about soul tribe, collaboration and community. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, what a perfect, perfect way to introduce something I was just going to let you know about, which I had this incredible um, interview with this lady called Sherry, Shelley Reamer yesterday. Um, it's over on my other channel, um, the Isla Wellness Academy. And she's the real deal, channeling guides and providing support into people for spiritual growth and healing. Um, and when you meet somebody who really, really just is just so tuned in, it's amazing. So soul tribe energy really finding people who vibe with what you get is the main theme here. And we have got fetch and we have got health. Okay. What I am getting from this, because we've got fetch here, has got this kind of like purplish energy. It's, it's sort of um, third eye going into crown chakra energy. It feels like the universe is starting to send out signals for you through through your crown chakra you can see this going on with these beautiful angel dogs here um to bring in people who are going to help you we've got here green energy which is heart centered energy um heart centered energy in green as i read it is about purpose if it's about pink um then it's about like love and self love and love of other people so it's interesting, I was actually drawn to green hearts and pink hearts. So for the health of your purpose, which is about expanding your consciousness and helping other people to expand consciousness as it's coming through in this energy, um, your purpose is going to snowball as more people are going to come together because the universe is actually fetching people to you. And what they're asking you is just to stay in the priority of your health. And that's mental, physical, emotional, um, spiritual. Ground your, ground your purpose by also at the same time grounding yourself in your own health, if that makes sense. Okay, the foundation. So on this spread, what we have over here is um right sort of right brain intuition and over here we have left brain thinking so what your thinking mind your analytical mind is going to be saying about this joy <laughs> okay your analytical mind can't cannot wait to have healthy relationships with soul tribe members um yeah this is something your your analytical mind is just kind of like desperate for so um the foundation of you or your energy fetching new people into your life is that you haven't got enough joy in your life at this point in time with the kind of relationships that you have or you might have joy but it's just not the kind of joy that is feeling like it's serving the right purpose for you and the energy that's going on there is creativity wow so your 
mind has woken up to the beauty of your creativity and it has some creative ideas and it wants to ground with the root red sh root chakra energy in here your mind your thinking mind wants to ground into reality um some of your creative ideas which have come from your soul's expansion and that really you want to find your soul tribe who vibe with that kind of creativity so for example some of you might want to ground into reality a book and then the universe is bringing you a book writing group or a book writing course because that is going to be the healthiest way that you can actually um ground your ground your creativity but also feel topped up like feel vibrant the more vibrant and healthy we feel about our purpose and about who we are and about who we hang out with the easier it is for our creativity to grow to be grounded okay so your intuitive mind has been uh thinking about six of cups okay so your intuition is a little bit nostalgic here and i think your intuition kind of knows that there are people from your past that are either um, not able to be with you and your soul tribe or your intuition is saying that the foundation of this is if I need to move myself forward so that important people from my past who aren't with me at this point in time can come and meet me um, because if any of you resonate with a same soul connection um, and I know that some people are because I'm getting comments um a same soul connection or a twin flame connection, as some people call it, or just a very, very, very strong soulmate. Everyone has the different words. Um, so we're, we're, we're all allowed our language. Um, but in order to vibe with somebody, you kind of have to find your true essence vibe first. It's that, that you can't focus on somebody else. You have to focus on yourself. And if you focus on yourself intuitively, you know the right people will be there to meet you from your past. And they will either meet you because they haven't been with you or you will leave, I'm, a, I'm afraid, leave behind people who can't vibe with you um, or spend less time with them. OK, fun time. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. We've got joy and we've got fun time and we've got creativity and we've got like having just having fun. Like the, the Six of Cups is also a, a card of happiness, a happiness and harmony um, and having fun. So your intuition is saying, and your and your mental body, like your mind, are both joining in harmony to say, we want more joy, we want more fun, we want to engage in our own creativity, we want to have a healthier relationship with our purpose. That is drawing us to our soul tribe. And those two, the combination of thinking and feeling is what brings your manifestation. We think with manifestation, we just have to think something into into life, but we don't. We actually have to get into our feels. It's it's our feelings, and our feelings are in our body, and our, and our mind likes to think that it can feel, but it can't feel. It can interpret our feelings, and mostly it gets them wrong because it doesn't want to know what was actually going on for us. So the combination of our thinking and our feeling coming together is what allows the universe to fetch and change the energy dynamic for you otherwise your energy is like incongruent your your mind and your intuition are doing different things energetically so when you bring them into alignment that's when you become actually magnetic okay so we have got then here um the emotional aspects that this is going to bring to you so we've got the foundations but what emotionally um yeah okay this is emotional advice and then we'll get some uh, extra cards, obviously, to say, like, what's going to happen. So emotional advice then from the, the mind's perspective, what emotionally do we have to do? Focus on happy ever after. OK, it's really, really important. The mind's job is to focus on how happy your entire system is going to be when you find your tribe, when you find your purpose, when you're doing something that is really healthy and nourishing and topping up for you. So where your mind is um, emotionally dragging you down that and, and saying, I'm not good enough, I'm, I'm going to focus on all the things that I don't have at this point in time, then what this energy reading is saying is that your mind kind of needs to bring itself back into the present moment as often as possible and focus on the happy ever after, focus on what it wants in the future as opposed to focusing on what it hasn't had in the past and then worrying about what, the, what will happen in the future. Okay, 
So the um, emotional aspect from your um, intuitive side is the Ace of Swords, right? Keep those ideas really, really clear. Keep those thoughts absolutely like in focus. Um, and so your intu intuitive <laughs> your intuitive job, I can't say that, your intuition's job is to keep focused on um, the fact that you are really clear about what it is that you want. When you make a list of what you want from a relationship or what you want from a job or what you want from a soul tribe, it's going to come from two places. It's going to come from what you feel and what you think. And if you feel really clearly, then it's easy for your mind to actually then focus on that. So also with the Ace of Swords, it can be about communication. It can be about communication coming in. But with Aces, it's more about the self. It's more about individuality. So emotionally focus on you, okay? Intuitively focus on you. If you focus on someone else, particularly, again, with the same soul reading, the fact that we've got these two here lined up, um, yeah, what I might do is I think I'll do an extended for anyone who has a same soul or twin flame connection or somebody who's a really, really close soulmate, but they're not in communication because this is lining up energetically for both of that aspects so that it's really important that you have to focus on yourself. If you focus on yourself and you focus on your soul and your soul's purpose, then that allows somebody who's trying to do the same for themselves to come into alignment with themselves as you come in into alignment with yourself and that allows the energy to come together if you focus on them all you're doing is kind of pushing them away because the energy like energy kind of just pushes and so they're they can't focus on themselves because they're trying to deal with your energy it coming in okay so if you want to be with somebody they will turn up if they're the right person but all you have to do is focus on yourself and if your paths align your paths align and i know that's a really hard thing to say but you just have to get away from other people's lives and focus on yourself. And if they're meant to be with you, they'll 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 come to you. If they're not meant to be with you, then they're not meant to be with you. And somebody better is out there for you. Okay, I'll probably get some thumbs down for saying that. Please don't give me thumbs down. It gives you it gives you thumbs down in return. I don't like thumbs down. Anyway, when it comes to relationships, people get upset. But the real point of this is a relationship works when you focus on yourself. Okay. Um. All right, so a spiritual advice or input into this reading, then we're going to go spiritual advice to the mind. We have got the page of wands. <laughs> all right, that's lovely. First of all, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Stay optimistic, stay hopeful, stay happy, stay stay curious, stay creative, stay enthusiastic. Um, there is also an, an indication of a message coming in. So the, so the spiritual message to the mind is just stay open. Stay open to anything. Stay open to all sorts of things that are fun and creative and possible. And um, the pages are about almost maintaining a sense of naivety. Um, it's like, oh, oh, what's over there? How exciting, as opposed to like looking backwards. Look at the amazing, the amazing, amazing energy for the mind here. It's like you want more joy, focus on joy and stay open. <laughs> okay. And then for the intuition, it's here. It's just like if you're nostalgic at somebody, stay focused on you. Um, and then spiritual advice. <laughs> stay focused on you and the spiritual advice is that the lovers will come. <laughs> uh, you know. For any of you who think that cards are, um, uh, you know, a bit of fun, I and I and I did. I actually thought they were a bit wacky, and then I got interested in them, and um, then you find out that it's all about the energy, and the energy works. It just works. So here we've got when you're nostalgic about somebody from your past friendships this can be about friendships it doesn't have to be about a, a, a partnership but it's about finding the right people or it's about people coming back to you who you you miss as a friend stay focused on you intuitively work on what you intuitively know is right for you and um amazing things will come okay i'm just going to get a couple more uh i didn't bring out the energy cards here but we'll just put a cup on there okay stop fretting about stop your mind from fretting and where well, we've got children okay so if some of you are um with somebody or you have 
on okay let's read this in two halves sorry on the mental side um the the energy here is to stop worrying okay just please stop worrying what is what are your soul tribe and your soul connections and, and and the relationships that you really really want the healthy relationships that are really make you feel topped up are coming whether they're friendships or um <clears throat> excuse me work or soul tribe just people to hang out with um on this side where we've got people from the past um for those of you who it resonates with um you know when we lose friends or friends drop out of our life for a period of time. Quite often it's because they're focused on their family, they're focused on their children. Um, for those of you who are um, perhaps older and wanting to come together with a partner um, and either of you have children, then those do energetically require a lot of help and support. And so children could be in the mix for some of you. As I said, again, I'll do, I'll do an extended for those of you who are interested in a same soul or a twin flame soul deep soul mate partnership that isn't in the union um but intuitively here it's just basically saying find your inner child like just have fun em embrace the energy of freedom that comes with looking at how a child behaves and interacts with the world it doesn't allow those subtle energy forces that we start to allow to impede on us um to affect them so intuitively find that energy that is about more freedom and more fun and that again keeps your heart your physical body healthy as the universe is working to bring things for you okay what a lovely set of cards all right let's get some uh extra information for today's reading from our oracle cards and then we'll See what the tarot wants to say on top of that. And we'll get to these great big moon cards. We're just a couple of days away from the moon. For those of you who are reading this as I'm recording it, um, so sort of a planning phase. Um, there is always another opportunity to hand. Okay. When you step outside your comfort zone, progress is made. Both full moon energies. Wow, that's very strong. So <laughs> I did what I did get here is there's always another person to hand. <laughs> um, so take that if it resonates or not. Um, that might just be indescribably awful to even contemplate. But, you know, sometimes if things don't work, we have to just um, accept, even though that's a very hard thing to do. When we focus on ourselves, it's a lot easier. Um when you step outside your comfort zone, progress is made. So here, mental, uh, mind, um, allow that mind to look over the fence and see all of the other things that are going on. We can zone in to like a, a almost like a, a a patch of life that is so small, and then we get obsessed with it that our life can only be good if something works for that particular criteria um and that is where the mind kind of needs to stop overthinking and trying to solve something through one solution and that what the mind's job is to focus on the feeling the emotion of happy ever after and then other opportunities will show up and then we can see the other opportunities intuitively and emotionally when you step outside of your comfort zone progress is made I think for many of you, you probably know this, to find a soul tribe and for the universe to be able to fetch that soul tribe and for the energy of our own our own health, we kind of have to, if we want to move, we kind of have to intuitively know that there's things that we need to do to put ourselves out there. You know, we need to start talking about our passions, for example, um, even if that feels uncomfortable because it means that people who don't expect us to talk about certain things then raise their eyebrows it's like well either they're going to come on the journey or not but what we do is we hold ourselves back um, and stay inside our comfort zone um, because we fear like rejection or humiliation um, but our inner soul our intuition longs for freedom to be ourselves and that's when we start to make change okay these so on a emotional, sorry, on a mental body, faith. Okay, all right. <laughs> Again, very challenging. Look, the universe is delivering as an empress energy in here. 
Um, it's just the same message, which is have faith that your dreams are coming true. Have faith that your creativity is being given birth to. It is being delivered. Um, watch out for watch out for the signs and allow your mind to check in with your intuition to say, is this something I need to act upon or not? And when your intuition says yes, you act upon it. And when your intuition says no, just trust and hold back. Um, that's where the stress comes in because you have to say to your mind, wait. <laughs> and your mind's like, no, I don't want to wait. <laughs> I want to do something. I need to do something. If you don't let me do something, I'm just going to worry about what has happened. And it's like, no, you have to wait. <laughs> okay, but have faith, trust. All right. And then intuitively, yeah, realization. Your your dreams are being unlocked. Look at this. It's just like not just not just the key to your life. It's just like the massive portal. Um, and then we've had two or three readings about like stepping out into the light and the portal and the door opening. And here we are. We've got the key. The keys open. The doors open. Realization of your dreams is just on the other side of just stepping over that threshold of being ready and um, being comfortable to go for it. Being ready mentally emotionally physically uh you know change can be tiring um but you're ready i love this what a great reading <laughs> i see we've just been having great reading after great reading it's just such a privilege okay we've got these mermaid cards they can be quite deep they can be quite feisty uh they, these mermaids go in deep energetically so let's see what they have to say to add to this situation Okay, your soul tribe is calling. We have got freedom, independence, self-determination. This is what you're after. This is what it's all about, freedom to be yourself. And that mind games that keeps you stuck, even though our mind likes to think it has free will, it does everything it can to stay within the confines of pleasing other people so that freedom that we long to have which is such an innate inbuilt thing because we're effectively wild animals that were free to roam and now we're not free to roam at all that the freedom to be yourself and the freedom of self-expression is driving a lot of this energy shift that's going on for all of us including you if you've been drawn to this reading but then our mind goes for all of these reasons about why we're not actually allowed to be free to express ourselves. So it thinks that we have free will, but then it does everything to combat that. So freedom, mind, remember, this is what it's all about. Okay. And then over on our intuition, a return of Aphrodite. Woohoo. Wow. Woohoo. Okay. Temple, birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess energy, treating as sacred. Okay. This is power. Okay, Pisces, this is power. Okay, your intuition is basically saying you stay in this energy of being really, really clear about what you want intuitively and allowing yourself to step outside your comfort zone. This is the, this is your power. You're stepping into your power then. Um, yeah, wow. All right, let's get the angel dog wings up a little bit so we can get two more cards in here for you and then we'll get some extra tarot just to finish off okay we have got There's something missing up here so i need to find something that fills that gap we'll see that in a minute okay so we have got here dear trust in the support of the universe okay there's a real vulnerability about this faith and dear energy here there's a there's a kind of like a hardcore um uh mermaid energy which I'm not surprised about because these mermaids are I mean they're on it <laughs> they hold no prisoners and these in this card deck but here with the faith and the deer energy there's and and these kind of like self worth lit up it's almost like the target you're you're feeling like your your ego is feeling a little bit like a a targeted um you know, your self-worth is feeling like it would be under target, but yeah, a target for other people. Um, however, your mind also knows that there's a joy in your own creativity. So there's a big mental battle going on in here and being vulnerable with yourself, journaling about your emotions, why they're coming up. Um, tr trust and faith, like the, the, these two words, okay, we've got faith here. Trust in the universe, have faith. 
stop worrying. It's all happening. Okay. And then over on this side, we have got Ladybird. Accept happiness and good fortune. Happiness and good fortune are coming. I've just done a Ladybird um, instant reading, actually, on my... my um, it's amazing how these things line up. I felt very drawn that the Ladybird energy or the Ladybird energy was coming out. Um, so the Ladybirds are about good luck, but they're also about a return to home. So return to the truth of who you are on the inside that's what a ladybird is showing up to say as well as good luck and good fortune are on their way okay and intuitively again i think you know that accept happiness and good fortune we have to let it in we're very very good like our mind is so good at not letting it in it's like you know it's, it, it knows there's happiness and creativity it knows that it wants to um uh, have happy ever after and it knows that the great grass is greener on the other side and then it does absolutely everything to like to come up with all sorts of reasons about why we're not good enough to have it um so intuitively you know pisces that you are you're manifesting like your energy is fetching what you long for soul tribe beautiful soul mate partnerships um you know intuitively that you're going to have a realization of some of your dreams. You know that you're stepping into your power. You know that you have to step outside of your comfort zone in order to step out of your power. Um, and your mind is going, oh, but I've got to do it this way. And your intuition is saying, no, 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 there are loads and loads of ways of doing this. So the, the mind, when it focuses on the tiny details, can't see the bigger picture. Your intuition is seeing the bigger picture. Um, and for those of you who are feeling a bit stuck you kind of intuitively know that there's something maybe to do with children involved and uh, maybe coming together of a relationship or you know your children are um, part of the cycle of here going on for you but you really have to you really have to work on yourself in order to do the best thing for your children um, and then um, some of you it's just energetically just use that energy of what it's like to be a child where we're not bogged down by things that aren't free will like children actually have a lot more free will than we do as adults because our mind doesn't get in the way of that okay i'm just going to pause because it feels like something that's very bright and lit up here it might just be a crystal actually in fact no i know what it is i know what it is a lovely piece of selenite here and selenite there we go selenite it looks going to be a bit bright in your eyes but selenite attracts light um, and it's like a battery. It's like there's a there's a charging up of your energy. There's a there's a build of your energy going on. And the more that you charge your energy towards your intuition and focus your mind on beautiful things, then the quicker things will shift for you. Okay, so we're just going to get another layer of tarot um, and just to see what other messages want to come for, through for you today. Um, any advice? Any support? Anything else? There we go. One, two, three. In fact, there they are. Oh, I think those are going to go together. Okay. We have got the Ten of Cups again. Okay. Doubling down on the Ten of Cups. That was almost on top. So Ten of Cups, the Hermit, Judgment. Together, we've got the chariot and despair. Nice. Okay. And we have got manifestation and culmination. So the princess of discs and the nine of discs. And that was the ten of swords. Okay. Um, I mean, first of all, uh, we've got three major arcana on here. So there's some big shifts going on in here. So... This is either you or it is somebody else, but we do mirror each other if you're thinking about somebody else. And even if you don't know who they are yet and you haven't met them yet, um, the process of energy that is going on in here is that you're longing for harmony to the extent that it's going to bring you out of hermit mode, out of your being closed in emotionally um, or closed in by your mind. The hermit is also about um, inner wisdom and guidance. 
So you know that the Ten of Cups, the, the happy ever after energy, we've got it twice here and it's over on this mind side. Um, and you've had to shine a light on what happy ever after means for you. And, and as I said, you might have even withdrawn from the world a little bit in order to do that. With the judgment, which is the second last card, it's like it's like you had to go through the awakening. You had to you had to look in the water, you had to see the soul and see the beautiful in you in the mirror, in the water. You know, the ugly duckling um uh story is coming to mind where the ugly duckling got teased and life wasn't very lovely, and then one day the the, the beautiful swan looked up and looked in the mirror and went oh, actually, I really am beautiful and I do have choices and, and I've woken up to the fact that my reflection energetically is astonishing. So in order to find your happy ever after, you had to go through this process of realising how beautiful you are. And if you're still in that process, I promise you, you're a beautiful soul. When we see through our, when we see our soul, we all have a beautiful soul. Um, um, we're not trained to love it and um, happy after after comes when we love our souls so self-love is one of the most important things you can do spiritually energetically relationship wise don't focus on someone else focus on loving who you are and then who the person who loves who you are will be the person who shows up for you okay and that means oh, there's a little bit needy to there that means letting go sorry there's a lovely lady who's very very vulnerable but she's got all these swords in her back it's like you're moving on from all the pain all the sadness all the hardship all the all the things that didn't work for you in the outside world but also moving on from your very damaging self-critical thoughts so when things happen to us on the outside it's very easy for us to um you know, to keep focusing on why somebody did something, for example. But what we're actually doing is taking that energy and continuing to use it to harm ourselves. Um, and that is what this is saying you're moving on from. And as you move on from that, which is the self-harming thoughts, because you've actually realised that the Ten of Cups is something that you need to be guided to and you can see your soul and the reflection of how beautiful you are as a soul, you move on from those really, really damaging thoughts, then everything starts to flow. We've got the princess of discs and the nine of discs. The nine of discs is like everything manifests. It is the comfort, the security. It's the ultimate card of like having independent financial freedom. And the universe is bringing it to you. Look, we've got manifestation, the princess of discs. The universe is saying, look, reach out, touch me, touch the moon, touch the energy, touch the emotions, touch the spirituality. Um, align your thoughts with your feelings and that is what makes you a battery in alignment all your cells are pointing in the same direction or all, all parts of your inner being are, are pointing in the same direction energetically and that allows the energy to come to you and it only really really works if you're focused on yourself because you have to be in alignment mind body energy spirit and then your environment comes into alignment with you and that includes if people who you really want to be in your life show up, whether you know them or yet or not. Okay, I think hopefully that makes sense. I am going to, it's a beautiful reading. I'm going to just lean around here and get a guardian angel. Guardian angel card or two. The instructions are still in here. Sometimes the instruction card comes out, so I forget to take it out, but there we go. So it's that one and that one okay so from your guardian angels we have got inspiration oh, i'm just going to pause and get my glasses white on orange isn't the easiest to read a wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura it is important that you trust your intuition at this time pay attention to unusual thoughts that come into your mind and do not discount your imagination <laughs> that's just what we just said wow Many wonderful ideas which have just which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, we will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities into your life. And this one here, I was going to say one of the main things that we, one of the main reasons that holds us back, without any doubt, from actually moving forward as societies, is that fear of speaking out. 
um and pisces it feels like the energy of the pisces collective is just going to push beyond that because it's just it can't not anymore okay we've got a prayer here that says dear guardian angel help me dissolve past guilt or regret help me see that all all is always in perfect and divine order help me to let go of the fear that i project onto my future help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me help me to realize and fulfill my true potential thank you beautiful okay all right pisces um that was a yet another <laughs> profound deep reading um freedom is there to be had it's the freedom of the mind um the intuition is kind of like almost like pushing beyond that so focus on your happy ever after and joy in your creativity um and um stay open stay open to receiving the power, the power that's here is amazing. Okay, thank you so much for being with me if you stayed all the way to the end. Uh, as I said, I really, really just adore your comments, um, like, subscribes, and everything that you're doing to help me grow this very new channel. It's just so appreciated. If you're interested in an extended about twin flame, same soul, deep deep soulmate that you're not in partnership with at this point in time i'm going to go and explore that because it came through really clearly with this six of cups moving up to the lovers um and as i said perhaps for some of you there are children involved and that might be keeping you apart or um well there could be any reason i'm not even going to preempt that i'm going to explore that for those of you who are interested and if you're leaving me here thank you so so much for being with me today and um take care i hope to see you again bye <laughs>